4th of July 1941, patrol log of U-96. Following on from our most successful patrol to date with over 30,000 tonnage sunk in one go, the BDU have seen fit to send us back out to the Black Pit and patrol sectors BD-6 to BD-9. Our minimum expectations to complete the 2 km patrol and seek a minimum of 4,000 tonnes. Intelligence says anticipated numbers of vessels in the area is expected to be small. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, here we are, U96 on patrol, and we're getting a message in from the BDU. Just getting it deciphered now. Right, we have information that critical technology has been loaded onto the freighter Santos. It must be sunk at all costs. Its predicted location is 4657 North, 2778 West. Right, okay, good stuff. Another patrol. These are always really good because it's never a single ship. It's always part of a convoy which will allow us um, to get some good tonnage for the, the Black Pit campaign. Uh, if it wasn't these kind of things, then if it wasn't a convoy coming through, then it could be a very quiet patrol indeed. So yeah, we're going to definitely jump on this and uh, head direct for an intercept for the uh, the Santos. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, this week's patrol log for U96. And we're just listening on the hydrophone now. We got the order from the BDU. And we've now come to the intercept point with that convoy. And it's quite a large convoy. Let me see, show you what we can see on the hydrophone. Um, look at this, a mass of ships. There is quite an escort. Look, escort, 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 escort more probably escort ships around here so it's a whole ring of uh, warships we're sitting down here at 20 meters 19 meters just so the periscope isn't well it's not so much the periscope it was the conning tower was breaching every so often so uh to stop us getting spotted and give us the best chance to find the what was it the santos um we're gonna let this as soon as this um sort of first ring of destroyers passes we'll kind of come back to to periscope depth here uh, and then we'll start plotting some shots against we've got a couple of large merchants here with some smaller merchants mixed in um, so yes yeah, so we're looking for the Santos which has got this technology which we need to sink what's the depth here the depth is oh two and a half thousand meters so yeah we're not gonna be able to recover it <laughs> that's that's a little bit deep for to send a diver enemy destroyer yeah yeah I know so yeah, we got the all the torpedoes warmed up. Let's just get Rutcha to make sure torpedoes are warming up, please. And uh, yeah, we're just going to let a little bit of time go by to let this uh, defensive ring of destroyers and corvettes go past. Okay, periscope's coming up. Let's see what we've got directly in front. We've got a little Corvette. Okay. Oh, it's not directly in front, actually. Another Corvette. 
Bring it down a touch. It's a bit choppy. Obviously, there's a quite high winds. So it's creating a little bit of choppy water. That's probably another escort or destroyer. Right. What do we got there? Another destroyer. Aha! Our first ship. So to speak. Right. Let's just see which one's... A... Oh, here we go. So we've got quite a few nice ships. Can we start looking at the names? Are we close enough? No, not quite. That's a nice juicy one which we're going to target. That one too. Little NA1. Can't make out the name, but it's it's too long for Santos anyway, so... So maybe we target this NA1 to begin with. Look how choppy it is. Bloody hell. Which is really good, actually, for our periscope, because that'll just hide it. Okay, target that. Let's get the velocity sorted. We're going to go using the inbuilt TDC. Um, let me know in the comments if you like the way of doing this or you want to go back to the oh, TDC see, mod. Um, I don't mind either way. But I thought we'd simplify things this week and see if you if you miss it or you, you, you're not that fast either way. Beacon Hill, that's the name of that ship. Seven knots, okay, they're going pretty nippy. So we've got 73 degrees and 2.3 kilometers. So angle about is 73. I can hear an alarm going off, which is not good. Which means they've spotted us. 73. The distance we're talking about to 2.4, did they say? 2 point something? 2.2, there we go, perfect. Right, uh, what we got? Tube 1, flood. Tube one's away. Should we target that one? Or there's a big one coming up behind it. Here we go. Let's target this one. What do we got here? Is this a Sea Liberty? It's a Sea Liberty. Yes, it is. <laughs> Velocity. Uh, let's take a chance that they're doing seven knots as well. Thanks for that. Course. Course is uh, 64 degrees and 4.2 kilometers. 64. And it's 4.2. Oh, zero meters. Okay, 4,200. There we go. Okay, torpedo tube two. Fire. Tube two's away. Next up, we're going to do the same. Try and do the same as we did last week. We're just doing a like rapid fire. Auf zero tiefe. Fram. I thought that's a uh, short. Auf ein Uhr. Oh, I need to destroy. They're coming, are they? Oh, hello. Yeah, you can definitely um, have a shot. So let's get this one identified. We'll slow it down a little bit. Just give us a little bit of time. It'll give us the, the, you know, the same kind of uh, assistance as having a whole crew working for us rather than having to do everything ourselves. Right, C3 freighter, lovely. We'll put speed of 7. That may have changed, of course. Um, angle about. Yeah, they definitely seen us. I can hear all the alarms going off. Um, 54 degrees and 2.6 kilometers. So 54. And um, what did I say? I thought it was going to double check. 2.9. That doesn't sound right. What was it? 2.6. 2.9. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's change that to 2.6 because that's what they reckon it really is. Tube 4. 
Der Maybe Dorpedo we could. Ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Rohr 4, fertig. Fire. Los! Tube 3 as well, but it's, it's cold, but it'll still do the job. Uh, actually, Tube 3, Auf we're going to fire two at this um, C3 Rohr freighter. Because they're usually a two torpedo ship. Rohr 3, Fire. Los! Right. What do we got? Uh, torpedoes away. Destroyers coming around. So let us uh, make depth of 40 meters while we reload. We'll come this way as well. Make revolutions as well. Depth charge. We're only down at 50 meters. Uh, unfortunately, the um, no, we're not even quite 50 meters yet. We're coming down to 50 meters. Um, we should have things switched off. Yeah. Um, so the other three torpedoes, unfortunately, missed the uh, the ships as. As you would have expected, have uh, change speed and change course. So um, the large, was it Liberty or C3 freighter in front of us that turned it in and slowed down. So the two torpedoes went in front of it, and uh, likewise with the other one, it turned away. Um, and so at that distance, the torpedo missed, unfortunately. So getting torpedoes reloaded now. I don't care if they want to scare us with their depth charging. Um, we're not that easily perturbed. As soon as we're reloaded, we will get back in the fight and uh, come up to the surface, well, <laughs> the periscope de depth, uh, and we'll let off another four torpedoes. Five if we get one in the rear shot as well, but um, yeah, I just need to let him uh, do his thing and get them reloaded. There we go. Let's get that in. Nice. Come on, you boys. I hope you're not sitting around and just watching. I hope you're helping if you can. Yeah, the bunks have been slid down as well. Good. Good stuff. Right. Doesn't seem to be getting any closer, which is the main thing. Right, we got our torpedoes reloaded. Um, probably not the best plan. We're still really shallow. So the hydrophone has been completely made inoperable for the short time while the um, the, the massive depth charge explosion is going on. So we've kind of lost our view on the world. We're blind to their movements. Wow, how many depth charges are they dropping?
It's still going. We might what we might need to do is just try and go low and quiet. Um, go deep and quiet, try and sneak away and then re engage further on on their course. Um it could be a chance of trying to pop up now and get some torpedoes away. Could be a bit wasteful. Oh the silence. Right. Everyone okay? Yep. Good. Let's wait for the uh, sheet to come back. Let's wait for the hydrophone to get a clear picture of what's going on up there. Right. What we got? We've got... Um, right alongside the ship, apparently. We've got... Wow. We've got a ship coming just in front of us. What's the... Um, the range going to be on that? Try that again. About 500 meters. No, 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 no. Keep your course. Keep your course. Um, all stop. Let's actually pop up. He can't turn that sharply. Um, and see if we can get a shot away on this one quickly, and then we'll dive down again, and then we will kind of get out of dodge because yeah. Torpedo tube one ready. There's a ship right in front of us. Lock on. Right, it's an NA1. It's the Liana. It's Swedish. You sure that hasn't got the technology? It's usually Swedish ships. Do we have time to do this? Mm, probably not. But she's going pretty quick. We spot our periscope. They're going to go absolutely nuts. Oh, not now. About seven knots. Right, so 58 degrees, 350 meters. 58 degrees. Was it 350 meters? Something like that. Fire. Los! 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. 30 Sekunden. 20 Sekunden. She's so close. May not even arm in time. 10 Sekunden bis Einschlag. Been pinged. Got it. Anyone else for a quick shot? Fire on deck. Not worried about you. Not worried about you for the moment. Or you. Any merchants? Uh, sailing away. And she's gone already. Okay, Paris go down. Crash dive. Alarm! Alarm top! Kapitän. Hundred and thirty, getting pinged, depth charges in the water. That could have been a little bit risky that maneuver, but another NA one freighter sunk. It was Swedish, there was a good chance it would have been the Santos. It wasn't as it happened, but no regrets. Maybe a few regrets. Welcome back everyone. Right, the good news is that the escorts look to have given up 
and they're heading away. God, look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten escorts. We didn't sink the Santos, but we have sunk two ships, um, which is something. And I believe we're in actually our patrol grid square, which is fantastic. So um, what I want to do is once they slip away, we'll probably come north because um, they're likely to turn north heading to the UK. Um, so we'll we'll um, we'll turn north, get away from them, and then accelerate and go at you know, max speed, try and get ahead of them again and set up another ambush. That's the plan. Uh, I won't bore you with all the uh, logistical reasons of uh, of getting that done, but I'll bring you back, hopefully when we're, we're in a better position to attack and re-engage this convoy. And hopefully the escort hasn't um, set its uh, formation up again, so it's dawdling behind the other ships. Hi everyone, welcome back. As you can see, we've set up again. The convoy turned, as predicted, north. We actually overshot them at that point, so we've had to double back. But we're now in a position to attack come, coming from their um, starboard side. Um, the escort is shield is back in, or the screen is back in position. Um, we're looking over at an abstract, abstract angle for some bizarre reason. There they are. All right, we're we're a little bit further out, so we can chance a little bit more height. There we are. Is that is that the ship in question? Possibly. It's got the green dot on it. It's kind of a giveaway. Um, might not necessarily be. It might just be in the middle of the convoy. We got a small freighter up front. We got another freighter there. Is that Swedish? That's Swedish. It's got to be that one. 100% is that one. Is that... Oh, this one's Swedish as well. Yeah, it's, it's got to be the Swedes. We know it's always the Swedes. So let's um, chance a little bit more higher. Uh, this looks to be... I've gone past it. An Empire Bell. Recognise. We'll get the velocity. What are they currently doing? Not quite close enough to it be able to read the the name plates on the the bow of the ship. Seven knots again. Um, so angular bow is seventy six, and it's five point eight kilometers. That's a long shot. So we're now on the bow side. Um, 70. What was it? 76. There you go, 76. Five point five. 5.8. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll change that to 5.8. Just for confirmation. Right, tube one, flood. The unknown ship. I think this is the lead one, isn't it? Yeah, they got the escort in front of that. Tube one. Fire. Alright, who we got next? There's another one out there. I need to get a little bit closer, I think. Ooh, she's a bit close. Maybe we can take a shot at the uh, the warship. Because uh, she could be a little bit of a problematic. Um, she may well be an EF class. We'll recognise that. If we miss, it could always hit the uh, C3 freighter in the background. Which will be a double plus.
Well, that seems to be a larger freighter coming in there as well. So you're going to try and make a gap in the uh, the defensive screen. Obviously, they'll they won't be stick rigidly to their um, shape. They will cover off anything. Ooh, only six knots, they reckon. Ooh, two, four. Fire. Torpedoes in the water. Right. Where are we at? Torpedo heading that way. Torpedo heading that way. Let's see if we can get... Target this one here. There we go. We've got her there. Let's get her targeted again. She was the... Liberty. Velocity. We got time. So we'll work out the newts. Stopping and st re restarting the stopwatch. There we go. We still haven't fixed that sound issue. <laughs> I don't know where this ship is that we need to hit. Maybe it is the uh, that Swedish one we fired at. I hope it is. Now that I know there's Swedish ships in here, I know it's going to be a Swedish ship because it always is. Seven knots, and that's six thousand one hundred meters. Woo, that's a long one. Right, let's get tubes two and three flooded. Dispersion. Twenty-six meters. We'll fire towards the front, we always hit the ones behind. Uh, maybe if we go depth slightly deeper, 2.5. What is um, the hull depth of a, a Liberty? 7.2. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Switch those to magnetic. Oh, uh, yeah, fire. Lord! Tube two. Three away. Good. Can't get that one. Can't quite get that one. I can't see the one on the horizon. We've fired at that one, haven't we? Fired at that one. Fired at that one. And there's still more in the coming. Hi everyone. Right, we've got a problem. The torpedoes are running out of steam about here. Um so we're getting uh five K. That's all we're getting out of them. Right, let's quickly move forward and see if we can get some shots on the rear of the, the convoy. Darn. Okay, we've come forward. We're still coming forward at quite a lick. Right, let's get... Um, they're also, also... They're also, also, they're also aware of our presence. Most definitely they are. Let's get this recalculated. Oh, man. Bloody! I think definitely my my opinions is we get the TDC mod back. I think it's far more accurate than the um, the inbuilt TDC. So we'll get the enhancement to the TDC because I think we're far more accurate with that, aren't we? Come on, come on. Five knots, right. Still quite a long ways out, but tube one. Oh, eins bewässern. Oh, we'll go, we'll go old, old fashioned, give it a chance to hit anything. Fire. Los! Right. 
Um, what else we got? Another Swedish ship. Let's definitely target that. Is this as high as I can get it? Oh! Unbeknownst to me, I think one of our torpedoes did actually strike home. Which is great news. Um, I'll lock onto this one here. Oh, we got that one coming in. Right, let's get this one done first. It's a Swedish run, and we all know Sweden are the devils for transporting sensitive documentation and technology. Five knots. Trevor. Trevor! Did that hit that ship, or did it hit the ship behind? Is there a ship behind? No, she's, um... We still got this one. I think we might need to put another torpedo into her. Fire. Right, tube two, flood. Uh, she's going past another ship. Thirty seconds. Um, so if we miss behind, we might be able to hit the Swedish ship behind. Oh, we got her. Yes. Two good hits. I think she'll be crippled. Hope she'll be crippled anyway. Anyway, going back to what we were doing. Yeah, out of range. So we've got this little NA1, which is which is quite tempting. We've got this Swedish ship here, which my, my gut instinct says... Oh. It's always the Swedish ships. Coming past the wreck now. Um, torpedo tube two is ready to go. Fire tube two. Yes. Hi everyone. The torpedo didn't make it, so that it again ran out of steam, um, which is. A little bit disconcerting to be honest with you because if you look at the statistics a T1 torpedo should be able to go depending on the speed set we had them set at 30 knots so um, at 44 knots it should be able to go 6,000 meters 30 knots you can maybe get 14 thousand meters out of it a T2 is uh, 5,000 meters at 30 knots so Either if we used, we've only got T1s and T2s available to us at the moment. So even if we use a T2, which has got the shortest range of 5,000 meters, it should have made it. And if it was a T1, then it should have done more than enough. So I'm a little bit con not concerned, but maybe we just need to adjust that in our mind that the torpedoes aren't as effective as the realistic ones. Um, it's something good to know, isn't it? The uh, enemy escorts are starting to close in our position now, so we're diving down. Um, and honestly, we don't have um, much in the way of... We've got no nothing in the forward tubes left. We've got two rear tube torpedoes to fire. Uh, it's been a very disappointing day. Uh, we're definitely going to get the TDC back. I know I asked your comments earlier, but I've made the decision. Uh, I'm far more accurate with it um, rather than the in-game in stuff. So, um, yeah, we're going to hide let the convoy move on and then um, if either of the c3 or the liberty freighters still hasn't sunk we'll pop up and sink them with a deck gun and then we'll start to head back home Auf zero, tiefe. all right we're closing in a little bit now doesn't look as badly damaged or they're writing her. She's a little bit down at the bow. Could just be one of those weird graphical things where it for a time it looks like it's uh, righted itself but it hasn't. I'm trying to get some holes down the sideline. Bit bouncy there. 
Let the water in. She's gone. Good. One more into that, just for, just for. She doesn't seem to be sinking fast. There she goes. Right. Let's see if there's anything we can do for the her crew. Right, coming up to the other ship now. Trying to get some shots down the hull. Bit high. But range is not very not a very good range finder. Yeah, let's get some holes down the the hull line to get some water in. You know the score. Still a little bit of a fire going there, I think. She's sinking apparently. The um the first officer decided that was his job done and went straight to bed. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so she has been sunk, which is good. Um, that's yeah, slightly bizarre, wasn't it? What is that? There's a life there's a life raft, unused life raft, still with the cover on. Um, ah, those two, there we go. Officers obviously get a lot more, give some supplies, give supplies, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of crew on that ship, wasn't there? Give them supplies, supplies, supplies. And we might have given some double supplies. Uh, but that's fine. Right, let's get that reported in. And we are good. Right. We still got to do a little bit of, of um, time in our patrol. You may also see Reach Wolf Pack Gathering Point. Um, there's no point. We don't have any torpedoes. So there's no point joining a wolf pack if we can't attack. Um, they don't want us to be um, contact keeper or anything like that. They, they're asking for some support. So... Um, yeah, there's a hell of a lot of lifeboats there. What the heck was that ship? It wasn't a troop transport, but there's definitely a lot of crew. A lot of crew. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to start making our way back to port, I think. We're going to finish our patrol, make our way back to port. And back in port, the campaign objective has been progressed. The uh, the tonnage did count this time. We're, all, we're over halfway. Thirty-two thousand four hundred and thirty-five tons sunk in the campaign. Fifty thousand is the target. So today we started off sinking Beacon Hill. Uh, ship was registered in Canada, carrying raw resources from Sydney to Liverpool. Tonnage of two thousand two hundred and forty-six tons. We also sunk the Liana, um, 2,240 tons, was transporting medical supplies from Sydney to Liverpool, was Swedish. Further on, we sunk the Empire Baron, um, informed us that this ship was heading from Sydney to Liverpool with medical supplies in the cargo holds. The ship's tonnage was 7,783 tons, it was a reg registered ship of Great Britain. And the Calgorlite. Calgorolite. Don't know. Iron Tell tells us that this ship had a gross registered tonnage of 7,179 tons and was transporting food from Sydney to Liverpool. It was registered in Canada. Good. So we've got a 33% reputation boost, 8,000 money in the bank. Uh, total tonnage sunk on this mission was 19,448 tons. Time at sea was 16 days, 20 hours. Distance travelled 4,780. 95 kilometers. Confirmation of the Beacon Hill being sunk, the Liana, the Swedish ship, and the Empire Beacon and the Caro, uh, the Cal Garolite also sunk. Um, we didn't reach the Wolfpack location, we didn't have any torpedoes, so we didn't bother. And we found the Santos apparently, but we didn't sink it. Uh, couldn't see it, didn't know which one the Santos was. I didn't want to cheat, so um, 
that's the way it goes. We had to sink 4,000 tons. We did so comfortably. 19,448 tons in the kitty. Nice. Right. We have... I don't know if you heard the bubbling. We have some technology upgrades. We have a snorkel. So we'll be taking a little bit of time to get that snorkel installed onto our U-boat. And that opens up all sorts of possibilities of new missions and uh, opportunities going forward. So keep an eye on that. Missions coming up very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will put the TDC mod back on. I think it's far better for me. I'm far more accurate with it. Uh, and we'll go from there. We'll uh, we'll pretend this never happened. Uh, it's just one of those bad days in the office. And we'll go again next week. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon. very soon. Bye-bye.